much here. I can tell the difference already without having to remove the tape, but do you want to do the honors? Let's take this right here. Oh boy. Look at that, that Sam. Look at that deadline. Huh? That's a good one. Wow. Nice work. And Great you saw job. it live. I mean, it wasn't it was smoke and mirrors on the thing. No, yeah. nothing else it wasn't. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, it's a beautiful day, buddy. Is that race cars we can hear in the background? That is race car noise over there in the background. I mean, big time. Big time. What's going on over there? They had, last night, this is the last run of Pro Mods. Yeah. They had 21 pairs to each course. And there were some that didn't even come up for the last call on it. So they've got like 48 Pro Mods out this weekend. <laughs> oh, my. And they were all... Very, very fast. Oh, my. very cool. Oh, yeah. And of course, Lyle Barnett's got the pro mod over there. Yeah, he's doing good, isn't he? Yeah, yes. he's running fast. That guy is so. Oh, my. I said, Lyle's at Lottie's running that, and he said, What? Get, make you nervous? You got no. quite the lineup going on over here. Let, <laughs> is this your full line of product? Yeah, all except one. And, uh, you know, we had, uh, what I was going to do was this. Hang this right up here. This is one of your new shirts. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Here's the back. Mr. Sam's Shine Shop. And then here will Sam be, says Shine On. And here will be the front. Specialty formulating. Mm -hmm. Here will be the front. I like the front. Oh, yep. Here yep. Will be the front. That's nice. Then on this one here, and this is only a couple, just uh, keep the dream clean. And see in the background there? What's that? 55 Chevrolet. I see one over there, right? Yeah, that's the... Now, when are we going to get that one looking like well, this? What's going on I'll with give, that project? I'll give you some ideas here. You know, what we're... Show the people what the front looks like. Here is the front of this one here. Mr. Sam Shine Shop. There it is. I like it. And got all of the sizes in, of course. But just a brief on the 55. Uh, it's so hard to find a specialty frame right now to get one made. Not made, but even have one in stock. But I want to go with the Art Morrison frame on it, which is set up for drag racing slash road track and all of that. And of course it comes with a nine inch housing. And all yep. that. Then for the engine transmission, just to get it going, there's an engine that'll be here Monday. Really? It's a 21 Camaro uh, with a 10 speed. Oh, really? Is that what you're going, doing? Yeah, well, just to, to get it up and going, you know? Okay. Then later okay. on, we'll put some big nasty something in. There you but go. That's going to be pretty good for what that is. Absolutely. And then uh, I talked with uh, <laughs> Prime, and he said, y'all just wrap that thing. I really wanted paint, but, you know, it all depends on how quick we want to get it together so we can get out there and do some stuff. Yeah, I stuff. don't know. The natural body paint on this thing over here is... <laughs> yeah, right. Uh -huh. oh, Guys, my. right now, before we get started... Every five dollars spent now are all of these products on the website right now? Uh, yes. Everything here is on baldeagle.com, chrismcfarland.com. Uh -huh. Give us a quick walkthrough on each one of your products here. Now, does it come with all of these accessories? Yeah, as a matter of fact, okay, let's start off with the spray wax. Now, I've took them out of the packages. Now, this is probably a product of the year right here, 2022. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that uh, some of the folks over at where it's been distributed now might agree too. This, of course, comes with its towel. Yep, nice microfiber and, towel, and then and, two different textures on mm -hmm. lengths of the fibers on each side. And you know, folks, when you're looking for a true microfiber towel, I'm not saying I've got the only one, but there's a lot of uh, cheap imitations out there, and they're just that. Yep. So there, sometimes the towel will introduce scratches to the surface that you've just done. So right. Make sure whether you choose mine or whomever on it. Make sure that your towel is worthy of what you're doing with it. Okay, and then so now we've got the light and final polishes. Mm -hmm. Light polish, of course. This is a pad goes with your light polish on it. Yep. The final polish has the maroon pad, which I just laid. Uh, where did we see that? Oh, it's on your buffer. Okay. Okay, and then the metal polish comes with another microfiber towel. Microfiber towel, that one, and the applicator. And the applicator. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it comes with. Then your tire and trim mm -hmm. comes with. It's on applicator, applicator pad. Here. Yep. Your paint protection. Now, and you're saying, well, what is paint protection on it? This is a heavy cream wax for those, you know, some say, I'd really like to have just a cream wax rather than just a spray wax. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Okay. And it comes with a nice microfiber towel, much like that in the car. 
All right, so back at the paint protection, it comes with the microfiber the and comes the applicator with pad. The microfiber towel, and it's the same quality as all of my microfiber towels on it. And with an applicator port. Nice. The only suggestion I say on this is please do, can it, it's hard to follow instructions. You've got to read them. Is put it on real thin, real light. You don't need a heavy coat on it because you're just wasting your product. Gives you the same result. Just put it on lightly, then give it a five or 10 minute cure time. Take it off with your microfiber. Are towel. the instructions on the back of here? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Good stuff. All right. And then we got leather conditioner. We already have a full video up on how to use this product and the That's results correct. that of they can provide it comes you. With here. Yep. Your tire and wheel. Now, I only set this brush out here. I don't I don't sell the brush. Yeah. Because most folks say, oh, I got my own brush. Okay. okay. Spray this on. Let mm -hmm. it set a few seconds, if you will, or you can put it two or three minutes. It doesn't matter. Take your scrub brush to it. There you go. There you go. Then for your clay lubricant. Yep. Comes with a clay bar, or you can buy it separate, either way. Now, provide your own towel with it, because it's just that you're going to put your clay lube on with your clay lube, with your clay bar here. It's like that time of year. Clay bars rain, are you listening? No, <laughs> that's not the one. It's here, and then provide your own towel. But you know how to check that? You know, we talked about that one time before. Yeah, we did, we made a full video about it. Sure did, and you can refer to that, honey. Cause yes. Because folks say, oh, I don't feel like it does. Take your little light plastic bag. Could you use this plastic bag that the products come in? Already comes in. How Look at that? that. How about that? It Put literally comes on. in the plastic bag. The plastic to check, bag and just... to go check out the video, guys. It's a really cool tip that Sam's and, illustrated and to Parker us. And as I said before, on it, the product itself is free. It's the bag that costs you $20. <laughs> but it'll tell you, you know, you can, it takes the feel away from your hand. Rub it across on your surface. It feels kind of bumpy. Yep. But that's the need for clay bar. There you go. Then. And I, I suggest on it doing it in a linear fashion. I've right. seen people go in circles, but they're not. Nah. Do it in linear fashion. Wipe it off on the thing. No. Do, do your bag again. My dad always showed me a tip growing up when with detailing cars. He had his own detail shop. And Sam, maybe you can attest to this, that when you are working down the side of your car, you always, you know, whether you're clay bar and you go front to back. And then when, even when you dry it, when you apply, when you're soap or, you know, anything, just go the same stroke pattern. Don't be switching it up, doing circles and back and forth. Keep it consistent, right? Any good detailer or person that's aspiring to be a detailer sets his patterns exactly that. Great advice from your dad, and you do. You want to have it linear, front to back, uh, back to front, whatever, but you want it here rather than yep. all this circular. That circular motion stuff, that's confusement for uh, somebody else's video. Okay? <laughs> right. Because you said it's a smoke and mirror thing. It's part of the smoke and mirror. Yep. Just do it linear. You can get a better idea looking down the side of your vehicle, and when you put light on it, there it is. All right, cool. Sam just told me one of the best bags you can have for something like this is a Walmart bag or the bag that the product comes in. You take it over your hand here and you can actually feel the imperfections that are sitting in the clear coat or just any debris or anything like and that. Yep. So make sure you reference so make sure you reference the clay bar video if you have really rough paint or have a lot of stuff in it before doing something like what we're about to do today, right? Or you're actually gonna do it right now. We're gonna start off with the clay lubricant available now, cleavesmcfarland.com. With the clay bar. With the clay bar. If you drop this thing, come start on. Start over. Throw it away, start over. Yeah, it's now, not it's worth it. it's tacky enough, it'll stick to your hands on. But if it flies out of your hand and hits the floor, done. It's picking everything up Sticks with up, it. You're done. Yep. And then you don't need to wash it with it, but you need enough for lubricity, if you will. Yep. Because you want your clay bar to glide. And what's the objective of this? To take those light scratches out of here, but you want to get the dirt off of it first. Then the contaminants, which are going to be surface contaminants, taken off by your clay bar. Then when you, you can have, even clay bar a window, right? Oh, my goodness, yes. You know, you'll have a lot of folks that <clears throat> on the side windows, you can feel it. If yeah. you clean it, you can feel it. It's like, oh, that's rough. Take your clay bar to it. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oh, nice. Take it. How does it feel? Ooh, wee. Can you tell a difference? Ooh. Tell me what you it. think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now then you're ready to do whatever it is that the intended purpose was. And in this case here, the intended purpose was to take them light scratches out of there. So, so let's get to it. So you got the red applicator mm -hmm. pad on your, what is this normal? This is a random orbital. Random orbital. 
This random orbital that Sam uses is made by Porter Cable. I will include a link in the description below on where you can purchase one so that when you buy this product and are buffing out or taking out light scratches out of your paint on your car, you have everything that you need. Then to be used with that is gonna be the light polish, of course the red pad, which is what I recommend with it. And it comes with heat seal. Oh yeah, nice. Then, Most of the products have heat seal, mm -hmm. right? And then is that up. what that seal does? Is just heat seal? Yeah, and you know on those. Oh, oh, I'm sure something. Guys, Sam has actually a really cool story about the manufacturer that does all of these products that I really want him to explain to you because I think I think it's really neat. But let's see what you got going what on. What you first. have here is on your product. Yep. Sometimes in shipping, in rough handling, and whatever, if it just has the cap by itself. That gets knocked around, yeah. You're, you're dead. So what the place that manufactures it for me does is this heat seal. Yeah, no, it's you're nice. Saying, okay, what's the big deal about that? Yeah, without the cap on it. So how does it get it to attach? It actually applies heat okay. and they roll when it you, on. When this is, uh, you mix your product up into your bottle before it's even labeled. Run through the capping machine puts the cap on it, but in this. When you when when they buy the cap, this seal is in the cap. It's oh, is in, it really? inactive, but it's in the cap already. So now then, when it's onto here, yeah, and it goes through your, oh, it's like a, I guess it would be called an infrared machine. It goes through. It's on a conveyor line, of course. Mm -hmm. it gives a little heat action here. Well, that heat action is what gives you that that seal. And it's sealed, and it, and the part of the requirement is that when you have, should be able to turn the bottle upside down, give it a squeeze or two and the seal never come loose. Yeah, good to and know. That, that is, because it's checked on the line for just exactly that. There's a person standing there at about every, oh, 15 or 20th bottle, they take the cap off, give it a test. Really? And then if it's not, then you have to vary your temperature up or down to make it stick to it. You can't have it too hot or too cool, but there's a certain range to have it in where it yeah. seals to the top of that, and you won't get no leakage. Nice. So then if it gets broken, it's still okay. Yeah. That's a plenty for you to start. Yep. Now, any more than that, you're just wasting your product. You don't have to scatter that. That's uh, that's your famous touch right there. Yeah, it's, see, it's a give a little touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah what speed? I run this on in six, and these things on this seventy four twenty four XP here, which is what that is. Yeah. This six stands for OPM, not other people's money. It's orbits per minute. I put it six thousand orbits per minute. You're saying, well, what is this good for? The, to the nam amateur, novice, even a professional on it, there, you won't burn with this right here. Okay. Not with a, quote, buffer. You can burn it. This one. There's plenty of action with this to take out those light scratches. I start mine on my object here. In doing this, here's what you have. You work in a two by two, two foot by two foot area. Reason being, that lets your product do its work, what it came here to do, or you mixed it up to do, and now then you're ready for a fresh. That's why you don't use it a lot. You don't want to saturate the pad. You just want enough to use on the surface that you, on your two by two area. Once you've done that, let's take the towel to it. But you want you a good quality microfiber. <clears throat> let's just borrow the one from the spray wipes. Then, sometimes folks ask me and say, well, how do you account for the dip? Oh, okay. Now, you could get your 55 looking like this with just the light polish, right? That's, that's what the whole thing is going to be about, is exactly that. Guys, check out Sam's new toolbox. You want to show it off real quick? You're Got pretty it. proud of this. This has kind of been your purchase I've of the year, waiting. right? Everybody wants a, quote, snap-on box. Of course, me too. Well, this one came up for sale. A guy when Orlando was moving down to Miami. Mm -hmm. Had to get rid of it right away. And I said, I'll be right there. Excellent bargain. I don't even tell you the price is so good. But anyway, this is my shop roll around type toolbox on it. And yeah. it is. Well, the shop's oh getting kind of busy over here. Shop's getting busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shop's <laughs> getting busy. Here's a tip. We won't call it a trick because we call it a tip. You say, well, 
I've heard about these things called a gloss meter. Yeah. Well, not everybody can afford one. So why don't we do the poor man's way to check the, and you do this. Once you've done your surface, why not? And it's called a poor man's gloss meter. So you put it to here and see out yeah. how far you can read the numbers. <laughs> Okay. I love this. So you see how far you can read the numbers. <laughs> that is great. So uh, I would see? say 11, 12. Oh, you can go along with that because look, let me turn the tape measure. Yes. There you go. Now look. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're out to 16, 17. Mm -hmm. Wow. How cool is and that? And you want to, and you say, is that serious? Yes. Take some, uh, the present one you're using, do the same thing on it and say, okay. Oh. Now, it tells you a couple of things. You say, well, maybe my paint's not that flat. Depends on how far you want to go with your paint, how flat you want it. If you want to color sand it, there's several things you can do. But it's just a way to reference, you know, uh, it's a poor man's gloss meter. What I didn't tell you a minute ago, did I do this tail light? No, you didn't touch it. Well, but can you? Really? So if you want to freshen up, if you want to freshen up a tail light, you can just use the light polish. Let's do, the, let's do what we had right here. Or even better yet, why don't we tape it off and do half of it? For demonstration purposes, Sam and I have taped off a taillight that has quite a bit of haze on it. And you're saying you can run your light polish on something like this to help clear what it up? What we're going to do is just exactly that. Do you think a taillight with this amount of haze is going to need any sandpaper before we do this? Not on this one. Not quite there. If it gets a little bit worse than that, put you a light sandpaper, maybe 1500 grit, and then come back with this. But on this one right here, I think we can do without it. But let's see. Yeah. I mean, looking at live deals, so let's see. Remember, six. about 6,000 OPM. Yep. Start it on and start. Now we got our, now you got a light polished up. Light polished here. I can tell the difference already without having to remove the tape, but do you want to do the honors? Let's take this right here. Oh boy. Look How at that, that Sam. How about that line? Huh? That's a good one. Wow. Nice work. And Great you saw job. it live. I mean, it wasn't it was smoke and mirrors on the thing. No, yeah. nothing else. It wasn't. Yep. You know, I've heard the expression on mine where it says, feel the shine. Well, you say, where do you come up with that? Okay, I'm getting ready to show you right now. Surface here is ready. Yep, it's been light polished. It's been clay barred, light polished, and now you have the... So now we have all the scratches up. So now we have... Paint protection. Paint protection. With this applicator pad, and let's put some on here. Light application, correct? Yeah, because guys, no need to waste your product. You see how, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. We're gonna a little go bit of haze. You just want a light haze. Yeah, we can see it. And if you've not got it clayed good, you can hear it in your pad going on like, oh, it's not clayed good, because it'll make a little scratchy noise. But listen now. That's quiet as a mouse, sir. Mm-hmm. You know, why do people say quiet as a mouse? I've heard them things, they get pretty noisy sometimes. They do, especially when so, they're running around on the roof or the attic. <laughs> exactly, oh exactly. <laughs> so they're not real quiet. Maybe they're not Christmas mice or something. And that's, you saw we had four or five big drops so that was about the yeah. same two by two area. Don't waste your stuff. Guys. Would you put that on there? Just about like this. We'll take the residue we still had. Sam, I have a question. What exactly is your paint protection doing? What's the method of a, the method of what is it? The mechanism of action on that? Okay, here's what we do. Let's just give you an explanation of that. Your spray wax is going to be in a maintenance type setup. Maintenance meaning, say, okay, I just washed the car. Don't have time to go through all of the quote cream wax and set up on it. So what have I got? It's quick and will last at least through two or three, maybe even four good washings. That's your spray wax. How about if I want something, say I'm gonna winterize the car, so to speak, or the exterior of it. Put you something on like in this. That's gonna give you months of protection and many washes. And you say, okay, give me a number on many. 10 to 12 good washings. Now, I'm not talking about just little sprinkles on it. I'm talking about getting after it washing. It'll still have your beading, sheeting effect on it. But it, mainly is to give your clear coat and or your regular paint if it's single stage. Okay. Protection is what it amounts to. Got it. Protection from what? UV. That's been about enough time. Let's take the towel that we had here. And you're going to notice stuff's pretty easy to wipe off. Oh, yeah, it is. Now, I know they can't do it on camera. I wish you could transfer the feeling. 
So we'll, oh, get, yeah. we'll get this my video out here too. And you can just give it a... There's nothing there to feel. And give it a hand touch. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How about that? Does it get and better that, than that? And that's why I coined that phrase, feel the shine. You get yeah. Look? Okay, so then. Now then, can you have the whole vehicle like it? Of course you can. That same procedure with what we just done. You know, it won't be, I won't be yakking as much. You know? We'll just get after the program on it, do the whole vehicle. Everything from wash, tires, and wheels, on. Right. Sam, I have a question for you. If you just purchased a car or you've had a car sitting outside for six months or a year, what would be your order of operations to restore that paint from dirt sitting on the paint to looking like something like this? Let's do two scenarios here. You know, a lot of folks think when they manufacture cars that they come straight from out of the assembly line down to the dealer and you get it and there it is. And quite the contrary. Those things gotta get there some way. It's either gonna be on a truck by rail or, or by rail. A lot of stuff gets on that. And I'll guarantee you, if you want to, and the dealership will let you, just take you, you have a Walmart bag, and go down to some of those new cars on the lot, and go across and you think, whoa, that is rough. And it is, a lot of stuff stuck to, stuck to it. So what would I do? If I was purchasing a new car, it had been there for a while, maybe they'd been on the lot for a month or so, maybe not even that, Take the thing straight home and give it a good wash. I use the Cletus, the Cleats car wash. He has the new 32 ounce container. Mm -hmm. and has got a nice wash mitt with it. Oh my. Made out of golden retriever hair. Oh well, yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay, let's just say, he's been collecting that golden retriever hair for a long time and said, Maddie, what are we gonna do with this? Right. Here's what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna make wash mitts out of it. Put it into my kit. And there it is. But that soap is specially formulated and it was for him because that's what he asked. Well anyway, wash that thing good. Now then, at that time, you might say, well, it didn't take everything off. Well, on those hard areas. Really? That's if one, say, if one's been sitting outside. Yeah. Got some tree sap and all like that on it. This is not going to hurt your Oh, body. I see. So the real, really hard stuff on it. This Regular, would be before you clay bar? Mm-hmm. Okay. Regular, just do the soap, the clean car wash soap. On. Then, if you've got that off, Let's look at now. You know you're gonna to have to clay bar it on me. And the reason I wash it, I don't want all that junk in my clay bar. So let's take a scenario. Like say if this one had been sitting outside. We're gonna check an area and see about this clay bar thing. Well, hold on clay bars just a minute. The grade of this clay bar here is called a fine. Now, usually manufacturers follow a standard color code. They don't have to, but some of them do. The light uses a suggestive of your finest or fine. Okay. The reds, them things pretty rough. They do it about as much damage as they do good. Leave you a lot of scratches into your surface. So go with as fine a clay bar as you can, just so you don't leave scratches that's produced by your clay bar. I do me this area of that with my clay bar, give it a check with my bag, yep. and say, okay, that's a good start. Then once you've done that, now you can start with your procedure of your, so it's gonna have scratches in it because it's, you know, from what it's been done to it and uses neglect if it's been sitting out that long. Let's start off with your light polish and your random orbital and the pad accordingly. Now, and you're saying, well, why not just go for the hard stuff? No, come on, let's, uh, let's come up this way rather than just forcing down on it, rather than just getting out the buffer per se and going for it. Let's do it the other way. Let's just come up a little bit at a time. We can always go rougher, but you can't go the other way. Mm hmm I like it. And then follow it up with some paint protection. Oh, once you've got that on there, let's put it, a, give it a good coat. We've got all the light scratches out. Looks real nice on it. Now then, bear in mind that your paint and our clear coat at that time is about as, and I guess the proper term is, about as naked as it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Everything's gone from it. So give it a little protection. Give it a little, you know. Can you stack the spray wax on top of the paint protection? You can, but there wouldn't be a lot of need of it, you know, because doesn't the, need to be. Uh, some of the same ingredients are in the spray wax that are in the paint protection. Got it. But it's just more concentration in your paint protection. Does the paint protection have awesome sauce in it? It does have a little. Okay, yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Sam. Well, thank you for showing us all of this information on your introducing your whole lineup. I can't wait to make more videos about each one of these products but the paint protection today and light polish. On their site right now, yeah. they have some one-for-ones, two-for-ones, 
Do they? And, oh yeah, they got some. Uh, them, them people have been busy over there, but it's not too. It doesn't deteriorate the product any. And and let me ask you this: when you try a product on it, and you have an idea of what it does, if it doesn't meet that expectation, it's kind of a letdown. Mm-hmm. I can give you my guarantee, and you say, "Well, you should. It's your own product." I can give you my guarantee: the products that I have here, what it has on the name, and what I said it will do, it will do just that. Just all you got to do is follow the directions. Pretty hard. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, a little demonstration as a prequel to the next video. I asked Sam about a product. He's already got it. Show us what it can do. Tire and trim. Yeah. Now then, on about all of this factory stuff, <laughs> and this one here, this truck here being about as old as me, not quite. And it just, well, you can see what it looks like. So let's give it a little restoration. A little here, oxidized. Let's take us a little bit of tire and trim damage. here. Applicator pad here. Yep. You saying, oh, it'll wash right off? No. Come on, guys. Give me a chance here. All right, we don't want to show them too much, right? We got to wait till the next video, right? Okay. Now, something that's pretty cool is Sam actually took a bunch of different products that are on the market and did it on his front valance, right? Yes, sir. Sure and did. so that we can compare them to his product. So make sure more of that coming into the next video. But here's a little preview of how great this product works. Not treated, treated. And... Here's one thing I think you're gonna like. Most of the stuff when you put it on, it's that greasy kid stuff. Well, that's an old ad. Nothing here. <laughs> so you want, and it does the same on the tires because you've seen these people come out of a car wash place. Yeah. You got the stuff on the tire, whew, it's a big spray. This will not do that on the thing. Nice. You give it just a couple minutes on the sink, touch it, grind the touch. Cause you know what happens? What? Your girl. Oh, I you heard about this. Kara told me yeah. you were talking about said, it. And she would say, you know, he's been out there washing that car all day. I might go out there and see what he's doing. But going out there, she's going to be styling when she goes out there. She's got on this new pair of britches she's been waiting to get for a long time. She's going to kind of show them off to him, you know. Walks out, and what does she do? She leans up into the tire. And did I tell you these britches is white? Uh-oh. Leans into the tire, and he says... No, it's ruined my... Oh, no, he's nice in trouble. Nice and big trouble. <laughs> what you won't have is this, so... There it is. Here, guys. Like